Welcome back, everybody. So, in the last episode, we just took Tylus and Ankra over here, as well as we completed our mission to assassinate the Scipii office holder, which was a failed mission because it just hurt our standing in the Senate, um, and uh, they didn't assign us an off office. So, um, we are kind of hated by the Senate now, and um, I expect that the Civil War is uh, on the roadmap to happening, maybe not right away, but it's going to happen sooner rather than later, and so basically, I really want to start getting some troops over here in my uh, home provinces of Croton and Trentum. So I'm definitely going to be tr recruiting troops like pretty much every turn now. And uh, uh, I'm getting a, bear, a blacksmith in Trentum and over in uh, Croton I'm building the archery range so I can start recruiting archers. And as far as uh, Thrace is going, I think I'm uh, going to leave the last city of Thrace and let the Dacia and Thrace fight it out because as long as they're fighting each other they won't be able to fight me and then I can set up defensively on this uh, bridge over here so that's why I'm uh, I'm not gonna attack Thrace because that would encourage Dacia to come after us so we've got a pretty good defensive position here um, with these two bridges that we can hold uh, I don't think I'll put any guys on this bridge because we're Dacia still a war with Thrace But if they ever eliminate Thrace, then we can put some guys on that bridge over there So I think I'm going to call back a lot of my Generals over here get them into cities so that we can we can start growing a little bit uh, so we have some better cities in Greece to we can recruit better troops for the upcoming civil war because the I think Greece is going to be a big recruiting center for us especially if we lose one of these cities or both of them in the civil war we'll, we'll have Greece to fall back on and hopefully we can get these cities big enough to get some pretty decent uh, military going in Greece some of these cities are quite small yeah we're definitely gonna go and continue the campaign against Pontus March. See what we got as far as mercenaries. Sarmatian. We got our Scythian mercenaries last turn, who aren't the best, uh, but they're you know missile cav and uh, they're they're better than our auxilla for sure because they have better range and uh, more ammo of this troops. And go ahead and so let's get that heavy cav. How much is his upkeep? Only 107 upkeep, 170 upkeep. His recruitment is uh, ridiculous, but it's just a one-time cost, and I think this is going to be a really, really good uh, unit for us. So let's go ahead and get him. Cool. Do we have a spy in this city? Yeah, we do. Nice. And we have spies in both cities. Good. Let's go ahead and besiege Mazaka. Engage the enemy. And our spies did their job. We got the gates open. Let's see what we got here. So again, I'm going with three groups, although this group over here on the right flank, they're going to have quite a bit of marching to do before we get there. So I'm going to make sure they stay away from the gates. And we're going to just have them slowly march around to that side. Our archers are mostly in range. Let's get these guys in range. As well as these guys should be in range soon. Our Cretan archers are already firing because they have amazing range. Let's move these guys up just a little bit so we don't get hit by friendly fire. And let's begin. Alright, we've got some Peltist over here. We should be doing damage to them really, really effectively. And yeah, we're hitting these guys quite a bit too. Hitting their missile cav. And we 
we've got over here some Eastern Infantry. All of our archers are firing. So I've done about 44% of casualties to my enemy and uh, with just archers alone and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my hoplites to march in. Uh, well let's see, looks like they're coming back for some more, let's, uh, let's let them do that. They should be in range of my archers pretty soon. Let's get uh, my other archers up a little bit closer so they can do some damage too. Not just my Cretan archers with the greater range. Let's see, I wonder if I can hit these guys. Yeah, just got like 10 guys over there. Can I get a little closer? Get these guys right up on the gates. These guys right behind them. Let's get this group here. Although I'm wary of that tower. These guys kind of have a little bit of line of sight through the gates here. Soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press oh. on and capture this place. Who has captured the walls? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. Cretan archers, no. Get out of the gates. Okay. I'm going to move up here with my hoplites. And we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're gonna try this, and then Astadi's right behind him, and we got Archer support. Now we've taken the walls for real. These guys are not. We're not. Yeah. We should be able to hit them from just right here. No? Yep. You can fire over the walls. Good. Let's keep an eye on our hoplites. Nothing going on over here yet. We'll let our infantry in first and then get our archers in to follow them. And over here on our right flank, uh, let's move forward a little bit. Let's go right here with our archers and get our infantry just right at the gates and cavalry right behind them. And over here, yeah, we're just going to stay here for now. How's this going? Are they attacking? Get Hastati over here. Okay, here they come. But we should be able to, should be able to handle them. Uh, we're, they're in range of our missiles and they're routing. I don't know what my hoplites are doing. It's kind of a weird formation there. I need to get in in line. Good. And over here, yeah, we're just still marching up. 
Let's have these guys double time. And over here, we're gonna hold up. We're not gonna enter just yet. Not until this this first one is secure. Alright, let's get my Roman archers inside. And my general. Get everybody in the gates. Preaching archers will just stay here. Let's see what they're doing over here. Are they thinking of attacking or are they just running around? Are they going to try some flanking maneuver? Oh. Who's under attack? These guys. Um, let's go ahead and just wipe these guys out real quick. Get them to route. They're just peltist. And then we'll get out of the gates. Okay. Should be soon. They're wavering. They do have these missile cav. I gotta keep an eye on. Okay, let's get these guys back here. Double time. Not ready to engage. How about over here? Getting hit by the. I don't know what happened over there. Okay, we're still getting in the gate here. Roman archers double time. Alright, Grecian archers get in here. Let's go ahead and get this army in here. We'll take this line here. Double time. And then get our equites in here. Get our archers. All right, we're gonna hold up here for now until we move this army a little bit forward. Doing pretty good. Let's move these guys up. Do a little manual control here. Am I ready to move these guys? Not quite yet. We'll get a little bit closer. What's going on over here? Nothing. It's all quiet. All right, let's try to hold. And let's get our Roman archers. Our Christian archers don't have much. They don't have much arrows left. All right, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Just get them all up here. All right, let's get these other armies moving in here. We'll go like this and get this army moving. Looks like they're wanting to attack us. Let's, let's go after these guys. Halt. Okay, they're routed. Let's go back to formation. They're sending some Eastern infantry after us. We will hold the line. Come on, Hastadis. Uh, what are these guys all jumbled up here for? Alright. Here we go. Double time. Double time. Okay, here we go. Here comes their Eastern Infantry. And they're routed instantly. Nice. Uh, what do we got over here? Halt. Halt. Start firing arrows. Let's get these guys in here. We're doing pretty good. We've got pretty good defensive, uh, I mean, a surrounding attack over here. We took care of those uh, infantry really quickly. They've just got light calf. Here's the biggest threat to us is their eastern general. Uh, I have to keep an eye on him. Get our general up a little bit closer. Let's move these guys out. Looks like they may be going after... Oh, good. They're going after our hoplites. 
And I think they're in missile range. Let's get all of our Hastati up. Let's charge. If we can take out these uh, heavy cav, the battle's gonna be over. Alright. I think I want to halt these guys. I don't want them to charge past my hoplites. Just want them to get in javelin range. Let's see if I can attack these guys. And over here. Um, just get those guys lined up. I think I will get these accretion archers up. And over here, they're trying something. They're, uh... Okay, we got their general. Alright, let's get our Hastati. Let's get all these guys up here. Charge. Yeah, they're taking out our hoplites. Let's get my general. I'm gonna have to rally. Yeah, those hop mercenary hoplites compared to heavy infantry just can't hold up, I think. Uh, we'll get these guys moving forward. Double time. Okay, rally. What's he doing? He's in the combat already. I want him... I don't want him leading the charge. And... Let's go. Let's get all of our infantry charging out. Uh, followed up by our archers. And cavalry, get up there. How about over here? Yeah, we gotta get these guys in here. Charge. We lost quite a bit of general's bodies, bodyguards. Um... Who are these guys? Oh, it's uh, my general, what are you doing? I do not want to lose my general. Let's get him out of there. Maybe he can take on these light cav. Let's go, General. Nice job, General. Let's go. Charge the last remaining Eastern Infantry. Uh, get my general out of there. Don't want him to be stuck in hand to hand. What else we got? That's it? Just a couple guys left. Three men left. Come on. Attack everybody. There we go. Alright, uh, that was actually, I think it went pretty well, uh, considering. Uh, it was a big, big siege, and uh, I mean, we only lost 469, so if, for a siege, actually, it was a pretty good ratio, I think, considering that they have that high quality general.
<laughs> All right, and yes, we're going to enslave the population, and let's take a look at what shrine they have. Aphrodite, I don't think we need that here. We may go and destroy that. Let's see. Um, that would drop us 10% happiness. So we'd be down to 70. I think we'd have to go to low taxes for a couple turns. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do Juno. And I'm going to go ahead and get some peasants here just to help maintain order. Actually, and grab that peasant for the... Uh, public order. We'll keep him there a couple turns just to uh, recover a little bit. We got our spy. We'll move him out. Actually, uh, I'm going to go take a look at the Seleucid town. We may go to war with Seleucid next. They do have mostly peasants in here, but uh, yeah, we may go after Tarsus next. I mean, after we take out Sinope, which we still have that Senate mission. Uh, Corinth here, I'm going to go ahead and get the Legion Barracks so we can start recruiting Principes. And Athens is more of an economic hub than military, so we're going to go and get crop rotations. Byzantium, I'm definitely going to get the trader and start working on our trade income because it's got some decent trade. I think Salona needs some wooden walls because we're kind of vulnerable up here. Uh, I don't want to neglect trade or my navy, so I'm going to get a shipwright in Thurmond. And I think I do need to start recruiting a little bit more navy to prepare for the uh, Civil War. First of all, get Julianus back into Byzantium. And we're going to, I'm going to recall my armies back into Thessalonica. Um, I do want to leave a small garrison here on this bridge. I don't need a general though. Let's get a couple good infantry and another archer here and send this, send uh, Flavius over here, the uh, drill master, to uh, Tylus. Should be a decent sized force. So let's get uh, op this Opius over here to Thurman. It's going to take him a while. And then over here we've got Vibius uh, Caprarius. And there's no need for him to sit in this town. I may send a, a couple or some of these uh, retinue over to Vibius. Give him the surgeon. He's probably going to be keep the architect. Keep, we'll give him the priest of Mars. Yeah, we'll just give. He's probably going to be. He's one of my best commanders besides Amulius. Uh, believe it or not, just three stars. I don't have a lot of good generals, so I need to get him moved out. Uh, I don't have any boats at the moment. I think I'm going to leave him in the town just another turn and get a boat over here in Apollonia and just to transfer him over. And I got my spies and assassins over here in Carolus. Let's get them over to the Italian mainland. I won't be murdering any more of my fellow Romans until the civil civil war starts but I could kill some diplomats just to get them some experience and stuff uh, of other nations not Roman nations my uh, popularity with the Senate is already really low so I want to try to improve that delay the civil war if I can so that I can continue to move east and uh, even maybe take on Egypt taking on Egypt during the civil war would be a major mistake if Let's get this Triaria back. They're gonna retrain over in Tarentum. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Our Senate popularity remained the same, it didn't drop, so that's good. Our population with the people is going up. I'll get my spy over here into Tarsus. Shouldn't be too hard for us to take. 
Let's go ahead and fight. This is Pontus's last territory, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Like we can wipe out the Pontus civilization. And yes, we've got the uh, gates open. So let's go ahead and assault them right now. Do we need reinforcements? I think we do. I am not. I am not uh, pleased with this. This is a pretty powerful. They've got a lot of really tough infantry and heavy cav. I am gonna wait this one out. I'm gonna get probably needs a little bit stronger forces here, and we need to get Amulius to do lead the attack. All right, Segestica. How's this settlement turning out in, for income? It's still not the best, but it's not bad. I'm glad I took it. Let's do the upgraded mines. And, of course, get more Triarii in Tarentum. Let's send this fleet out east a little bit. Take a look at things. All right, get this... Get our guys landed here. All right, we'll get Vibius Caprarius. Let's get him over. Got Apollyanna. Yeah, that'll be a good town for him to govern. Yes, Captain. Disembark. Imperator. Onward. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Yeah, I was kind of, actually kind of hoping that uh, Pontus would have attacked me that last turn so I wouldn't have to fight him inside this siege. Attack! Besieging settlement, sir! Okay, I'm gonna have uh, Amulius build up four rams. Uh, the gates aren't open this turn. So we'll have to do the siege next turn. Um, I don't want obvious leading it and I actually think I'm gonna go use both stacks and let the AI control the attack hopefully the other general won't just march in there and get killed or something like that uh, I want to get some Navy experience so let's just try to sink this uh, Pontus Navy go back to blockading it okay looks like we do have some rebels to deal with I don't really have much. I don't know what these guys are even. We know. Okay. I may need a little bit more troops. Oh, more rebels over here. I don't know who they are, but I think these guys should be able to handle it. What are they? Thracian mercenaries. Yeah, let's go ahead and take them with our just cavalry battle. Heroic victory. Alright, pretty quick victory. Just uh, lost three guys. Uh, Kaidonia over here, definitely going to get a ship right. Uh, because they're an island and uh, we need the uh, trade. Tylus, um, I think they're still kind of having public order issues. I think I'm going to get my very first arena. I haven't built any arenas yet this game. And I think you get another peasant for the public order. And Pergamum, uh, I think I am going to get the mines. Halicarnassus, I'm gonna get Temple of Juno. Uh, Byzantium, we're gonna get sewers. And of course getting some more Triarii because we can. And in fact I think we've had this guy since, not since the beginning but pretty early on and there are only eight guys left. We're gonna keep this unit alive by retraining them and getting another Triarii. Over here in Croton, we're getting Equites. Let's get an armorer in Tarentum, and then we can start upgrading all these troops. Salona over here has got pretty good trade. Let's go ahead and get a market. I'm going to get an academy in um, Apollonia over here. Retrain our general, and I'm going to go up to normal taxes. I'm going to start raising taxes a little bit because um, even though we have a lot of money, we're upgrading a lot of cities and it's going to get a little bit costly. And, and we are also uh, upgrading, training more military units to prepare for the Civil War, so that's going to get costly too. I'm going to get crop rotations going in Larissa. And Thessalonica is really good trade center, so we'll get the forums. 
I'm gonna get a small force ready to go take on these peasants, I think. Uh, let's just get three guys. That should be decent. And we'll get them over to Pergamum. Uh, let's get some Principes. That should be enough. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Interesting offer, Pontus. You want to have a ceasefire, and you want us to give them seventeen thousand um, dollars. No, I don't think that's worth it, especially since I'm about to take your last settlement. So no, no, that's not a very good deal for us. I don't think. Numidia wants an alliance, and they are offering alliance trade rights and map information sounds good I want them to be to go after the Scipio and if we go to war with Scipio they could be useful to us so we'll go ahead and do that and now I think we've got pretty much trade rights with everybody maybe not Carthage alright let's take a look at the Senate floor we actually gained a little bit of popularity with the Senate so they're forgetting about our assassinations of people that's good Imperator, engage the enemy. all right let's uh, finally do this siege and yeah we are gonna let them control this may be a huge mistake but I'm gonna let the AI control Oppius over here because they just we, I want to surround them the best I can hopefully we don't lose too many guys let's go and do this Oh, it looks like our spies were able to open the gate. I didn't realize that. That's actually to our detriment, because uh, I was hoping that would delay the attack by our Archers. Archers. our allies. But, uh, uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. So, uh, looks Ready. like we're going to have to rush in here a little bit faster because I know my reinforcements drop the ram. I guess it takes a second to drop the ram. Alright, here we go. Halt! <laughs> Don't run inside the gates, archers, please. Let's go. Don't know what my reinforcements are doing. Hopefully they don't march in there too fast. Missiles do their work. Over here, yeah, we got we're lined up pretty good. Let's get these to study a little bit closer. And yeah, our cat, our air archers are doing good. Um, I don't know what our reinforcements are doing. Hop lights. Wonder if I should try sneaking them in there. Or wait till their numbers are a little bit lower. Alright, uh what do we got? So we've killed seventeen percent. Took out this group of hillmen. It'd be nice to take out these phalanx. These 
These guys are down to about 10 guys. Let's go ahead and march in. Let's get these guys in. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this That's day. our allies. Our are taken. What do we got over here? We got these phalanxes. Can, can we not hit them? Let's see what happens if I target them. No. Maybe if I step back from the wall a little bit. They'll start firing. Let's see if let's see if they can hit them from here. Good. Let's take these guys out real quick. And how about this? Uh, yeah, just one guy left. I'm surprised he's not routed. Okay. Let's get these hoplites moving. Alright, um, let's get in the gates over here. Okay, they broke the gates with their rams. So they're not just running in there all crazily. I think they'll use some tactics, that's good. Get our cavalry in. All right, get my archers in. Get my uh, cavalry in. Hurry up. We got phalanx over here. Go over here, double time, and how about over here? Okay, good. They're lined up in a strange angle, but let's move them out. Let's just get going before our allies do get destroyed. Alright, looks like everybody's mostly in there. Okay, archers, let's target these guys. It's gonna be kind of a battle. Oh, you guys, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just don't block the gates. I wonder if I can try surrounding them. This is going to be a tough battle. If I can get around them. Alright, they had to drop their phalanx because I got them on the side. They're still going to be tough because they are just a really strong unit. Who's attacking this group? Oh, the tower. Okay. Let's get these guys in here. But actually not do that. Let's get... Let's get moving forward. What do we got over here? Okay. Halt. We got chariots. Let's go... Hit them with... Uh, Missile attack. Okay, we're doing really good damage against their chariots. And how's our general doing? He's just getting in the gates. Alright. Let's get these 
these archers moving up. Like that. These guys running. These guys running. Good, we took out those chariots, no problem. We got more chariots coming. Just attack. Uh, they don't want to deal with us. Let's halt. Let's help them out. That's their general. Let's charge. Alright, looks like he is winning this battle. Let's get my general up and cavalry so we can rally people. And what's going on over here? Okay, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Halt. And get this infantry group. Let's move them up, protect our archers. Uh, okay, we got some reinforcements coming. Cavalry, of course. Okay, rally. I thought that was going to happen. Let's get our infantry, I mean our cavalry to charge against their general. Man, one general's bodyguard could route three of my infantry in a street fight. That's just crazy. Let's get my equites helping out. Oh boy, what's going on over here? Get out, let's let's try to flank this group. Can you guys move? Can you move? This way, can you charge? Can you charge? Oh good, we got their general, finally. You guys dead at your feet. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. And what do we got? Another heavy cav. Uh... Let's try to get our guys in here. What's our general doing? Okay. Let's get them over here. Let's deal with these guys. Everybody attack! Except for the missiles. Oh. You're not firing. Let's get them in here. Wavering. They still got a lot of these guys left. General. What else we got? Just those phalanx left? Oh, what's going on over here? Uh, okay, just a rampaging. Can you kill that chariot, please? Nope, they can't. Can someone please kill this chariot? Finally. Uh, just this one guy left? These three guys left? Oh, I see the last one. Is that it? Did my general just get the last kill? 
The day That's pretty ours. awesome. Okay. Well, we lost almost 1,500 guys. So they dished out more than we, we did. Enslave this population. We finally did it. We took out Pontus, another rival gone. All right, we're gonna get more games from the Senate. And, oh, they're being held in Tylus. I think that's. Is, did we build an arena here? Whoa, that's a massive rebel army there. Tylus is holding games. I think I will get one more Triarii. All right, in Sinope, I think uh, we're gonna get. I think I'm gonna get a shrine to Mercury. But I don't really want them to grow too fast, and if I go with Juno, it'll give them that extra health bonus because they're already a huge settlement. We gotta work on replacing a lot of this Eastern culture. So I'm actually not gonna repair the wooden walls. I think I'm just gonna build stone walls. And so I'm gonna get the Shrine to Mercury first. I'm recruiting peasants. I'm gonna retrain most of my armies. They've actually got um, the Eastern, or the Elite Cavalry stables here which allows me to uh, hold games. Oh wow, we can train Triarii over here too. Let's get some Triarii. Oh, that's cool. Let me go over here and spy over here. In fact, so I'm gonna have Opius go and start building some watchtowers. All right, gonna get these troops over here so we can finally deal with these rebels. All right, let's get a let's uh, attack. All right, we got one militia hoplites, peltist, heavy peltist, and militia cav. Let's just go. I don't think I need to bring my peasants. So we got some mercenaries over here. I mean, some rebels over here outside of Tylus. Um, I don't think Thrace can reach us this turn and get to the bridge. So I think I can go ahead and move my army off the bridge and go ahead and attack. Because we don't have much in here. So... Let's go ahead and do that. We'll combine forces in Tylus. Uh, but no real ranged units, and we've got three archers. So we should be able to handle them pretty easily. We've got Flavius over here leading the charge. Alright, uh, we lost 23 guys. Pretty good victory. Okay, get back on my bridge over here. I'm definitely going to have to reinforce him uh, soon, but I don't think they can reach me, so... Um, I'm going to retrain my military here and then get him back next turn. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, Senate wants me to take another settlement. I don't know where this is. Oh, that's in Dacia. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's take a look at my Senate standing. Um, didn't improve. I think it stayed the same. But uh, I'm not going to do that mission because I don't want to attack my ally. Awaiting your command. Um... Let's get some. Let's get my military back on this bridge. That should be plenty for this bridge. Oh, 
Okay, it doesn't look like we had any riots in Pergamum. We were able to get enough guys. So I can call back these peasants. And in fact, let's retrain this. I'm going to get one group of peasants, though, just in case. And it looks like we can get the Proconsul's Palace, because it's ready to grow. And um, let's go take on these rebels. Got our faction leader. Victory! Alright, we lost 15 guys. That was pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at the stats. Our Roman archers killed 312 guys and yet didn't get any experience. <laughs> Alright, uh, Aulus the Cunning got a pretty good victory. He's a pretty decent faction leader. He's getting a little old, age 60. Um, let's get him back into Pergamum. Look at that, a thousand gold per turn. That's what uh, he's worth. Pretty nice. Uh, oh, actually, more than that, because I can go up to high taxes. And we'll do that now that we're in that next uh, population group. Let's uh, retrain all our guys and get the peasant for public order. Uh, we got another band of re large rebels over here. I'm going to build a watchtower. Where's the borders? Not till way over here. Let's send my spy out. Make sure they don't have any armies that can sneak attack us across the borders. They do have actually a pretty big garrison. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of cautious, not get too close to the borders. Maybe that should be good enough. We'll build a watchtower. We can keep an eye on him and send him back. March! Okay, I want to train up this army. We'll get Amulius to take out. General. Oh, we got rebels right behind us too. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna send out my army without a captain. Attack. And attack Victory. these guys. What do they got? Peasants. They've got heavy cavalry, and they're the missile cav. And they got archers. So interesting. Well, they should be no match for us. Prepare. Alright, looks like we got some slight high ground. Infantry. Let's get our archers up here. Let's have them run. Let's get up there on the high grounds. I want to try to reduce this if I can. Oh, they do have archers. Let's do the... Uh, ooh, we're just getting decimated by their archers, aren't we? Well, they're mercenaries. That's what mercenaries are for. Our Cretan archers are already in range. What about our Roman archers? No, they need to move forward a little bit. So forward they will move. And make sure our Hastadis are firing at will. Why are we attacking their peasants? <laughs> Let's attack their archers. We lost over half our Scythians, I think. Alright. You're still not in range? Man. Get up there, Romans. One of these guys behind him. Come on, Romans. Just have very little range. Ah, okay, good, you're firing. Can't quite see them. Maybe just a little bit. But they're in range. We're hitting their Eastern infantry. I wonder if we should be taking out their archers. Let's take out their archers first.
Man, they're doing more damage to us than we are to them, and we have the high grounds. Why is that? Why are they doing so much more damage to us? Are they just better quality archers? Alright, we took care of their archers. Let's take out their... Pontic. And looks like they have peasants that are doing something strange over here. I think they want to taste uh, some heavy inf heavy cavalry. Let's get them. Wow, our Roman archers have no range. Let's get our infantry forward. Alright, we took out those peasants really quick. Let's get a reformed up halt, Roman archers. Let's get my infantry running. If they're thinking about attacking my archers, I will charge with my cavalry. Getting a little bit close. Nope. to finish up those Eastern Infantries, get another one. And yeah, I'm going to have trouble chasing these guys down, although they are heavy calves, so my Equites should be faster than them. Uh, let's go, let's see if I can hit them. My Thracians are keeping up with them. Go, 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 Thracians! We'll just chase them off the map. They're winded. Our guys are winded. Uh, try to surround them. If we can. Attack. You surround them. All right. Uh, lost 121 guys. Pretty good victory. Let's see if we get a man of the hour. We need more generals. Nope. And uh, what is Armenia doing? Are we gonna have to go to war with Armenia next? I'm going to go with the Temple of Mercury and Sinope over here. We'll get the um, stone wall later. Still training up my guys. Uh, I'm moving these guys out to try to see what um, Armenia is up to. I don't know why they're on our lands. But if I have to go to war with Armenia, I think I'm okay with that. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.